country there are people from all walks of life be it within factories offices farms and mines seas and mountains universities and hospitals all have a common growing sense of anger and discontent for the way the central and state government have handled the pandemic in addition to large scale devastation of several livelihood with over 4 lakh deaths and over 3 crore infections experts are convinced that this could be a staggering undercount on one hand the dystopic picture on the ground demonstrate mass unemployment a 24% last year and has now settled at a grim 7 to 9% loss of jobs reached 2.5 crore this year alone decimation of incomes struck 80% of the working class people according to studies while on the other hand the big companies recorded profits last year indian billionaires have reportedly increased their wealth contrast between the rich and the poor has widened relentlessly it has now become a battle for survival which is also a battle to save india so what is this campaign all about leading organizations of the country that came together are all india agricultural workers union center for indian trade unions and all india kisan sabha they are representing farmers and agricultural workers and the vast bulk of working people of this country launching a two week extensive campaign that will culminate on 9th august 2021 observed as save india day so what are the issues that are addressed by the save india day campaign first of all immediate relief cash transfer of rupees 7500 per month for all non income tax paying families 10 kg free food grains per person per month till the pandemic lasts free vaccination within a definite time frame compensation for all covid deaths cash transfers are not only immediate relief but it will also help in reviving the economy the government needs to spend money on people instead of loan concessions to corporate sections some immediate steps that the government needs to take are minimum support price at total cost of production that is c2 plus 50% of all crops with guaranteed procurement strict measures to prevent rising price of essential commodities and of petrol diesel gas cooking oil etc create more jobs and vaccines and stop retrenchment and wage cuts ensure minimum wages social security and pension for all workers including casual contract scheme workers and unorganized sector Regarding the policy decisions the demands are scrap anti worker labor codes the anti people farm laws and electricity amendment bill allocate 6% of gdp for the health sector strengthen public health system stop privatization and disinvestment of psus and government departments withdraw draconian edso farmers are fighting for c2 plus 50% as recommended by the swaminathan commission in 2004 the government instead is busy dismantling the whole system of procurement and msp employers are misusing the labor laws cutting down minimum wages millions of workers are dismissed without compensation or even wages the drive to sell off the invaluable public sector industries units to private entities must be stopped as the 75th anniversary of the independence approaches the very roots of that independence is weakening the save india campaign is the people's pushback against the present system